if you ride the trails, you should maybe donate one day uh, a year to keeping this legacy going. See you up on top, sir. Today was a good day. We actually got to introduce uh, 55 Bonneville cutthroat trout into the lake. Um, it's a part of a larger project where we're trying to increase the number of conservation populations we have and increase the overall resilience of these fish um, with the, in the face of global climate change. It's kind of that you need to be doing something for the good of the public or country to give back what you've been taken and if, if you aren't giving back you're using too much and you're basically a parasite. Today we were fortunate enough that uh, the Backcountry Horsemen is a group that volunteered to uh, haul the fish up here for us. And all the land managers, all the people we meet along the trail, they seem to appreciate bringing the fish in on horseback and it just has the character of wilderness. It's just it's great, it's, it's good for the uh, environment. It's just, a, and it's a fun thing to do. So the, the Bonneville evolved in ancient Lake Bonneville. And about 15,000 years ago, it started to dry up. So the fish adapted to live their entire life cycle into the, the mountain streams and the rivers that flowed into the lake. So Lake Bonneville no longer exists. Its remnant is salt, Great Salt Lake. So they pretty much are just a, a river fish now or a stream fish. So the population here will become a recreational fishery if they take off. Um, we have a, we have an area that uh, a spring flows in during the, the spring and early summer seasons. We're hoping that they'll spawn there. And, uh, and if they do do really well and reproduce here and we need more fish for other conservation work, this could very likely become a source population. It's a great place to be a Bonneville, I think. <laughs> Our fish planting uh, projects have, have been popular. They aren't necessarily trail work, but uh, they're something we all like to participate in. These fish were wild fish out of a stream not too far from here. They were bigger fish. And what was surprising that these fish swam out towards deeper water, uh, completely different from, you know, the younger fish. We're trying to increase the resilience in the, the face of climate change. And it, it, it seems that there's becoming uh, more drought, um, more wildfires. And as the temperature warms in the air, the water temperatures of the streams will also warm. So in order to get them here, well, putting them here, we're at a higher elevation. This is the area in the park that gets the most precipitation. Um, so we're hoping that with the higher elevation, they won't, the water won't get warm as quickly. And because there's the most precipitation up here, they won't be as affected by drought. We uh, worked with the Nevada Department of Wildlife to go capture Bonneville in Hendry's Creek, which is about a 20 minute drive outside the park. One of the, the tricks is trying to have the fish alive and healthy when, when you get there. We just appreciate all the help that we got working with the uh, Nevada Department of Wildlife, the Spring Creek Ranch Station, um, the Backcountry Horsemen, and we appreciate Trout and Lemonade's interest in this. Getting these little fish loose is, is kind of fun. Oh, yeah, I know.